Hello, I am Vida Akos, the 15-year-old um, designer of my Etch to the Fusa Printers contest. And the Fusa Printers slash con the controller project event. So the aim of my model is to make the buttons and the D-pad on the controller more accessible to everybody and also to make it possible for easy fingerless top-down gaming with these larger triggers. So let me show you the assembly. First of all, we're going to take the, two, the, the uh, main parts and just screw them together with M3 screws. And there should be three screws that just hold them together. I only have two. Then we're going to take these little rods and put them through the button before it's screwed together so they don't fall out and they can press the Xbox logo and these other buttons easily. Then you just take the um, the parts of the D-pad pusher and the button pusher and a regular rubber band. The way you assemble it is you take the top part. So first of all, you take the rubber band, you fold it in half like this, and then you twist it to make it make it look like a, a O with an X in the middle. You take this part, put it through the bottom, like this, and then you take the little bottom part and you put it on there. And this bottom part doesn't need supports or doesn't need um, um, any glue, but it actually depends on your printer's tolerance if it'll fall out or not. So, once this is done, you just take it and put it on the little pegs aiming for both little things to go on. So once this is on, I'll just get this one on as well. And it's done. Just slide to the middle. And now the D-pad is pushable with a joystick. The same thing should be done with the um, button pusher. And once I put that on, It should be able to work. Also, um, this controller model may slightly vary because um, I have actually updated the model a tiny bit with some quality of life changes, but the assembly is still the same. And the only reason I don't have it here right now is because I haven't had a chance to print it yet. So once this is also on nicely, you just have to take these, these are the joystick extenders. I printed them in flex fill, but they can also be done in PLA. So you yeah, trim the bottoms of it. So once that is also done, just have to get the angle right, they go on actually quite easily. So, done. All oh, nice and sturdy. Then, you take the trigger extenders, and you take this rod, so, the first, um, they go to the left one, on here, like this, then in the smaller one, I press the inner trigger, Are they stuck? Good. Then we go with the inner trigger again. And then finally, this part. Now, the upgrade is finished. You can access the triggers, the upper triggers, and the little joysticks with no fingers. You can also press the buttons and the D-pad. If you take it and put it on a table with some clamps, I am using the uh, Prusman PEG clamps because of their accessibility. So I'm just taking it and just, just screw it on like this. Same on the other side. And now it should be completely done. Uh, thanks a lot for watching.
Um, this has been my entry to the proofs of printers contest and um, happy printing and gaming.